Have you been considering free-ranging your peacocks? Let's talk about how you can do it successfully. First and foremost, let's consider the dynamic of the flock. Maintaining a ratio of three females for every male is important when there's more than one peacock. This balance ensures peaceful cohabitation and reduces competition among males, which can lead to aggression and injuries. Food is another critical factor. Peacocks are omnivores and have a varied diet that includes insects, plants, and small creatures. Providing a consistent food source is key to keeping them close to home. Set up feeding stations with a mixture of grains, fruits, vegetables, and commercial all-flock feed of 20% protein content in their own container, do not mix them. These stations should be refilled regularly to ensure the peacocks always have something to eat at their leisure. Water is also essential. Peacocks need a constant and clean supply of fresh water. Not only is it vital for their survival, but it also serves as a deterrent from wandering. A peacock with a reliable water source at home has less reason to venture out in search of it. Now, onto a topic that might raise some feathers, wing clipping. Contrary to some beliefs, peacocks do not necessarily fly away from home. In fact, they're more likely to walk or run if they decide to leave. However, they use their flight abilities to escape predators and clipping their wings leaves them vulnerable. Therefore, it's recommended to never clip a peacock's wings, not even one wing, as it will throw them off kilter and slow them down. Leaving their wings untouched will ensure their natural defense mechanism remains intact. Initiating free-ranging should not be done with birds under a year old. Young peafowl are more susceptible to predators, less familiar with their home territory, and more likely to wander off. Wait until they've reached at least one year of age before considering free-ranging. Lastly, avoid starting free-ranging during the breeding season, which typically falls between April and September. This period is marked by heightened aggression in males and a higher risk of wandering as they wander exploring between ages 1 and 3 years old or to seek out mates. To summarize, free-ranging peacocks require careful consideration of their flock dynamics, a consistent food and water supply, and respect for their natural behaviors and needs. Remember, never clip their wings, not even one wing, don't start free-ranging with birds under a year old, and avoid initiating during the breeding season. By following these steps, you can create a safe and suitable environment for peacocks to roam freely while staying close to home. Please like and subscribe for more helpful videos on caring for your majestic beauties.